Hello, everyone. Suwanis Chuck here, continuing the lessons uh, from the workbook of A Course in Miracles. And uh, thank you for being here. Uh, today, uh, we are on lesson uh, 128. And uh, the lesson is, the world I see holds nothing that I want. The world you see holds nothing that you need to offer you, nothing that you can use in any way or anything at all that serves to give you joy. Believe this thought and you are saved from years of misery, from countless dis disappointments and from hopes that turn to bitter ashes of despair. No one but must accept this thought as true. If he would leave the world behind and soar beyond its petty scope and little things. Each thing you value here is but a chain that binds you to the world and it will serve no other end but this. For everything must serve the purpose you have given it until you see a different purpose there. The only purpose worthy of your mind this world contains is that you pass it by without delaying to perceive some hope where there is none. Be you deceived no more. The world you see holds nothing that you want. Escape today the change you place upon your mind when you perceive salvation here. For what you value, you make part of you as you perceive yourself. All things you seek to make your, uh, to make your value greater in your sight limit you further, hide your worth from you and add another bar across the door that leads to truth, awareness of self. I want to read that line again. It's speaking about how do you value yourself here? What is your worth? Do you feel worthy? Or are you in a space of unworthiness, which is all from ego? Because it says all things you seek to make your value greater, that making your value greater is because underlyingly you're living in unworthiness. So to make your value greater in your sight, limit you further, it hides your worth from you. You are worthy. You are deserving. You are light. You are love. Add another, and add another bar across the door that leads to true awareness of yourself. This all, this all seeking, seeking, seeking for something greater. It is all, it's all what um, blinds you from your higher self, from your true self. The true self that you are, again, um, holy and innocent, and you are without guilt. We're working on the forgiveness aspects, because as we forgive them, we experience the atonement, which is, is being without guilt. Let nothing that relates to body thoughts delay your progress to salvation, nor permit temptation to believe the world holds anything you want to hold you back. Nothing is here to cherish. Nothing here is worth one instant of delay and pain. One moment of uncertainty and doubt. The worthless offer nothing. Certainty of worthy cannot be found in the worthless. The world is an illusion. The Course says there is no world. It's all what we make up. We see through our body's eyes or when we in this, well, we, when we're looking out through our body's eyes, because again, we're not this body. We believe we are this body and we believe we are separated from God. And that's what's causing us our suffering. This is why we keep searching, looking outside of ourselves to, you know, find our value and our worth. 
Our value and our worth already exists within. So today we practice letting go of all thoughts of values we have given to the world. We leave it free of purposes we gave it, gave its aspects and its, its phases and its streams. I'll read that again. We leave it free of purposes we gave its aspects and its phases and uh, its dreams. We hold its purposeless within our minds and loosen it from all we wish it were. Thus do we lift the chains that bar the door to freedom from the world and go beyond all little values and diminish goals. Peace or pause and be still a, a little while and see how far you rise above the world. When you release your mind from chains and let it seek the level where it finds itself a home, it will be grateful to be free a while. It knows where it belongs. Okay, I'm going to read this paragraph again. Pause and be still a while and see how far you raise above the world when you release your mind from chains and let it seek the level where it finds itself at home. It will be grateful to be free a while. It's, you know, to release this um, constant, um, you know, stinking thinking, the constant wandering, you know, mind wandering. Um, you know, if we can just pause and be still within our mind for within ourselves, just for just for a few moments. Our, our mind knows where it belongs, but free its wings and let it fly in sureness and enjoy to join its holy purpose. Let it rest in its creator there to be restored to sanity, to freedom and to love. It's all shifting from wrong-mindedness to right-mindedness. The wrong-mindedness that where we're driven by fear, we're driven by the ego. And, and to shift into our right mindedness. Because, you know, we are part of God's mind. God's mind is within us. Give it 10 minutes, rest three times today. That's all it's saying. Give it 10 minutes, three times to rest, just to rest and go within, be still to the best of your ability. Just have the willingness to practice it. Doesn't mean you have to practice it perfectly, but just take those 10 minutes. And, you know, as you do these courses or you do these lessons, there's great value, great value beyond measure in these 10 minutes. And when your eyes are opened afterwards, you will not value anything you see as much as when you looked at it before. You'll see things differently. You'll see things differently. And this is the whole, you know, um, basis of the of the course is is to see things differently your whole perspective on the world will shift just by just a little every time you let your mind escape its chains the world is not where it belongs and you belong where it would be and where it goes to rest when you release it from the world your guide is sure the Holy Spirit, open your mind to the Holy Spirit, be still and rest. Protect your mind throughout the day as well. And when you think you see some value in an aspect or an image of the world, refuse to lay this chain upon your mind, but tell yourself with quiet certainty. This will not tempt me to delay, to delay myself. The world I see holds nothing that I want. So again, the lesson is again, the world I, I see holds nothing that I want. And the purpose is to let, um, let go of the value that, um, that you, that we've put on, on the things of the world. 
you know, so that, that so, so that your mind um, is free to uh, to experience what is what is truly valuable. That is our home in God. That's what they, where the value is. So this lesson is asking us to uh, to give up all attachments to things, the things of this world, and to put an end to suffering by putting and um, and and craving um, anything the world offers. By putting aside uh, the cravings and anything the world offers, that might not be so easy. But you know what you want to look at is what is it that you really crave, and 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 it's through the idols of the world that you try to satisfy those cravings. And the, and this lesson is asking us here to uh, to take just um, you know ten minutes three times a day to set aside especially if you have a craving of sorts, you know, you might want to practice just stopping and, and taking a couple of deep breaths and, and just breathing into it and, and releasing what the, those cravings are. So um, it's what I wanted to say there and I, I wasn't really clear about it was it's again, th th this lesson is about uh, putting aside um, um, or giving up, uh, uh, you know, giving up our attachments uh, to put an end to suffering and, and to put an end to all these cravings. So, you know, to the Holy Spirit, um, the only purpose of this world is, is the healing of God's Son, is our healing. It's the only purpose of this world. And um, when, when you put your faith in God, um, when you put your uh, faith in, in the practice of, these, uh, of this text and, and um, of the, the lessons here of the Course of Miracles, um, you know, when you begin to forgive um, and, and attain some inner peace, you know, the things uh, outside of you um, are not required to make you happy. This is what is available as you continue to practice the course. As you, again, lift all those blinders of the ego, lift all those blocks of the ego, and, uh, you know, be grateful for when they're showing up. Be grateful for when, you know, again, that you are, triggered by by something or when you're in noticing you're in judgment that again these are an opportunity uh, um, to be able to let them go give them over to the holy spirit this stuff this uh, will be revealed these things will be revealed as you're doing the course and now you you know you've got um some tools here some guidelines to the lessons and how to how to go forward because as you heal, uh, as you release these to the Holy Spirit, then you'll be guided. You'll be guided to what's next. And um, you will um, find more and more of that inner peace. May not be all the time, but you'll have more and more experiences of it. Again, I'm just reminded in a moment, you know, also, you know, you can wake up every day and, and it's, it's uh, in uh, one of the lessons here. We haven't got to it yet, but, it, um, you know, it offers that you say, where would you have me go? What would you have me do? And what would you have me say and to who? And then be still enough to be able to listen for the voice and what direction you'll be given. So... This is not easy letting go of our attachments. But just notice, notice what, if, if, if it was missing tomorrow, just go within and see how you would, you would feel about it. And check in how attached you are to the things of the world. All right.
So that is lesson 128. The world I see holds nothing that I want. I want God. I want love. So I wish that for you uh, as you go forward this day. And again, please remember to like, comment, share, and please subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to being with you for the next lesson, which is lesson 129. All right. Continue your practice, your practice. And until then, much love.